everybody, I'm Rude Devil, and welcome back. Welcome back. No, this is this is something new. This is a Dane 4.0 demo, and it's uh, Sunday today, and I would usually be sitting around naked watching TV, but no, the demo came out, so there's plenty of videos to make and plenty of fun to be had. Um, instead of uh, going into the single player straight away, uh, I did want to take you through the Create a Hero game mode, because that whole thing has been revamped, um, and I've got Toothpaste the Dwarf here, but this isn't a hero I've made. This is like from Rise of the Witch King. But um, I think you guys are going to really like the changes they've made. Uh, there's only one change that they've made that I do not like, and that's they got rid of the wizard class completely. And I think their thinking behind that was um, that the five Astari was already in the game, so it might be a bit, uh, it might make it a bit unbalanced if uh, they if you were able to put in more. Anyway, so we got uh, the heroes of the free people. We got Captain of Gondor, Shield Maiden, and uh, new abilities have been put in, and I will go into those. You've got Male Archer, Female Archer, and then you've got the Dunedain Ranger. This is completely new, and look how badass that uh, cloak is. I, yeah, I'm definitely making a Ranger. Um, that Trina and Siege Master, the, nothing really new there. Stats don't change, it's purely aesthetic. Um, they probably get some new abilities, I'll have to check that out. We get the Commander of Khan Doom, and something that's really cool is the Black Numenorians. These are, these are kind of like Battle Mages, because they got... Uh, skill with a sword, but also they can use uh, Morgul Sorcery as well. So we'll have to make one of those. Orc Raiders and the Uruks. Uruks are as batshit crazy as always, covered in blood there. And we've got the Hiradrim of the South, and then we've got these Assassins, the Hashari. And uh, these guys, I think, are pretty OP. I mean, they've got Convert Allegiance, they've got Stealth, they've got Assassination. They have a whole bunch of different moves. And then we've got all the different trolls. So let's, um, just for the sake of uh, being cool, let's build uh, Dunedain first. And uh, I already called my dwarf Toothpaste. I actually promised Max I'd name a hero after him. So Mad Max, there we go. And so we get different uh, robes or a different cloak. Uh, I actually like the slightly bigger one. All right, shoulders. I don't think. Alright, I think, mm, no, I think shoulder armor with the cloak would look kind of silly. And yeah, there's no way I'm not going anything else other than this. I mean, it's got the seven stars on it, it's got the crown, it's got everything. Weapon, he's not really holding the bow in his hand that well, but I can forgive him since Adana is so awesome. Uh, what's a nice bow? That's like an elven bow, I don't want that. There we go, we'll have a Duna Knight bow. Um, even though that doesn't even look like one either. Okay, um, I'm actually happy with that color set now. I don't even need to change the colors. All right, now this is uh, probably my favorite change, is that uh, usually you'd have damage, armor, and uh, health, and really those are the main points you uh, you put all your uh, points in, and it just made it kind of predictable and boring, and no one really varied up. But now they've actually changed uh, up the uh, attribute points, so your decisions are actually a lot harder. Willpower, for instance, increases your cooldown, so if you want to prioritize using your abilities faster and then over straight up damage, then you could put points into that. Strength is how much damage you do, um, resistance is how much health you have and how much, uh, how quickly you regenerate health. Perception is kind of cool, because this is how quickly you level up. So you could, like, the more points you put into this, you could level up as quickly as Faramir, where he kills three orcs and is already at level nine, or probably like uh, Aragorn, where he levels up quite slowly. Now, Perspicacity, which I don't know, this mod was made by German people, and why they chose to put in the worst word in the history of, well, in the entirety of the English language, I mean, what kind of fucked up word is that? Perspicacity, like, I can barely pronounce it myself. Anyway, this is a, a priority if you're an archer like us, like we are, because this not only increases your vision range, but it also increases uh, your range with a bow. So, you max this out, I mean, you're putting Thranduil to shame with your, with your bow. So, um, I think we're going to put our damage up, obviously. Then we'll put our range up. Uh, I think, you know, put our willpower slightly higher. We don't need our health to be that higher for a ranger. Uh, what was perception? Oh yeah, how quickly you level up. We don't need to level up that fast. Wait, we'll, like, max out the range. And we'll, uh... Hmm... Yeah, uh, actually, you know what? We'll just put one more. So I have the utmost vision range. So I'm the ideal Dunedain scout. I like that. It makes sense. All right, now, archer specialization, of course. 
Thorn of Vengeance, which is um, essentially Thranduil's Thorn of Vengeance, an incredibly high damaging arrow. Windrunner, who regains movement speed for 20 seconds, so I guess if you're surrounded, if you you could uh, spec your hero to have low health and then just use this to run away. Summon Familiar, do not need that now. Toggle Weapon, I never really liked that for my um, for my scout. Stealth, yes please. Elendil, this is probably, yep, then Flea and Terra. Athlas, Deadeye, what does this one do now? Uh, gains 50% attack speed with a bow, okay. Oh yeah, and then Counselor, this is a new thing. Um, counselors re uh, decrease the cost of heroes. Um, well, actually, this has decreased the cost of recruitment, so it could be... Um, oh no, it's just heroes. So minus recruitment cost for heroes, and this actually stacks. Um, but since only custom heroes can have this, I don't know how you'd manage to get that to stack. True Sight, we're going to have leadership, obviously. Leadership is invaluable in this game. Ambush, this is a really cool new power. This allows you to uh, summon... Um, Dunedine out of the blue and then just, you know, rain death from above. And then Rain of Arrows. I was never actually a fan of Rain of Arrows. Um, launches a barrage of arrows. Now, I was never really a fan of that, so I think... Hmm, I mean, Thorn of Vengeance, I could one-hit heroes. Hmm, this is where it gets complicated. Cripple Shot. What should my fifth power be? I'm, ju I'm deciding between Thorn of Vengeance and Deadeye. You know what, let's go with Deadeye. Bit of a tame power selection, but I didn't want Rain of Arrows, so that's just me. Obviously, you guys can choose whatever you want, and uh, there's actually a lot of fun to be had. Might as well get Elven Cloak. And then, do I get the final ambush? Yeah, I'll get final ambush, why not? So yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that. We've got Mad Max, the Dunedine Ranger. Alright, let's quickly go into a few more. Uh, let's see if the Dwarves have any new abilities. Let's just call him not Mac. And sorry, I gotta give him that helmet. It's just because he's like the weirdest fucking helmet ever. Alright, Battle Raid, Sapper, Oil Spill, Light Fire, Axe Throw, Counselor, and Vulnerability, Bombard, Leap. Forge Dwarven Blades. This is the only new one he gets. Hero forges the weapon of the target hero. Thereby granting the wielder of the weapon plus 10%. Oh, that's <laughs> that's kind of cool, because I guess Dwarven Craftsmanship is always the best, so you can just upgrade another hero to do better damage. Alright, let's have a look at um, the Black Numenorians, because these guys seem really badass, especially if you're playing as an evil faction. Alright, what would we call a Black Numenorian that isn't the Mathesaron? Um, let's call him Can... Oops. For anyone who likes, <laughs> for anyone who likes, Kota, Candorous Order, we'll call him a, a Mandalorian Black Numenorian. And what the hell kind of helmet is that? Okay, that's kind of weird. And half of these are troll helmets. That's, you know, what? I'm gonna have to go with that because that just that just screams death. And they've put in like a uh, troll armor for this guy, which is kind of weird. Oh, I like all of these, actually. I'll use that. Huh, I actually really like this. This is cool. I mean, I can understand why they didn't put in magi uh, wizards, because they can be the most powerful hero in the game, so... I don't know. I guess just because I think the focus on a Dane 4.0 wasn't just uh, implementing like the BFME one playstyle, but also to balance the whole thing out. Because uh, if you didn't notice, 3.8 is a little... Un Balanced. Oh, I really like all this armor. That's really cool. That's like Batman style. <laughs> anyway, we'll just get that. Weapon. You want a shiny blade? Damn it, stop moving around. I can't. Alright, that'll do. And shield. Oh, I can wear a shield. Usually when you uh, when I have shield and you click on it, nothing happens. Cool. Alright, that's pretty bad. Actually, we'll go with that. And does he need legs? Not really. Mm, Alright, fine. We'll give him the shield, uh, the legs armor, but I'm not happy about it. Alright, willpower. Well, shouldn't it really do this after your power so you can see how good your power I mean, I guess you could always go back. Alright, um, since he's going to use like more will sorcery too... Let's have him uh, cool down pretty good. He's got a shield, let's have him tank. 
Uh, perception's already five. Max out. Boom, okay. Call reinforcements, yes. What does Slayer do? Oh, okay, so it's pretty much like Blade Master. We'll get that too. What else we got? Descent. It calls to be hostile towards each other. Yes! Alright, getting that. Deathbringer, that sounds really cool. What is this? Death follows the steps of the hero, reduces enemy armor and damage by 20%. Uh, yes, taking that too. <laughs> All these powers are awesome. What do we got? Well of Souls. Hero sucks life force from target allies to heal himself. Oh, from target allies. Well, that's not nice. The armor of all units in range of the Dark Marshal will be reduced by 100%. Cool. Oh, yeah! Alright, that's like, um, yeah, the Dark Marshal actually gets that at level 10. Okay. This is getting kind of cool now. Boom. 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 I don't really want Well of Souls, because I don't like to sacrifice my own dudes. Even though, I mean, it could just be Orcs, but now nah, we'll be okay. Yeah, my final power is going to be the, uh... Minus 100% armor thing. And soul anguish. Yes, I'm very happy about Candorous Ordo. He's awesome. Okay, now let's just get down to the final new hero. Uh, actually, let's just quickly check if the elves get anything new. Blub, blub, blub. Windrunner. Oh, it's probably the same as the Dunedain. Reign of Arrows and Ambush. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Alright, let's go back. Alright, now the final uh, new hero they put in. Where is it? The Harashi. Now, I've checked her powers before, and yeah. They are, they are somewhat overpowered. I think she's probably the overpowered one in this whole game. Uh, she also gets some weird armor. So let's just go with the one that she makes her look like an assassin. Alright, name. Uh, even though it's a woman, Richard Nixon. There we go. Alright, let's just, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this mostly the same, just because I kind of like the default armor. Actually, hold on. She's an assassin, but... Let's have a halberd, because why not? <laughs> it's pretty impressive if a uh, assassin can kill you with a halberd. Alright. She's got really good abilities, so we're going to put a willpower up. An assassin, so we need to put a strength up. Elf up. And we'll let you level up quickly. Okay, there. Now, poison attack. You know what? I'm not actually going to get poison attack, even though it's really useful. We're going to start off with assassin. Stealth, obviously. Coerce, which allows you to convert the allegiance of enemy troops. Uh, toggle weapon, no. Plague of Locusts. Now, I can't wait to see this. You actually release a swarm of locusts. I mean, that's just silly. Uh, hero moves 10% faster and takes 10% less damage from enemy heroes. Leadership. I think our final ability, Disguise, Prepare an Ambush, um, a group of Hasha, alright, you know what, let's go with that. I think still resources, especially in the BFME 1 setup, would be more useful, but, um, I'm gonna go with the, uh, the summon thing. And because we're primarily gonna be using this as a, as a hero killer, put the final one into that, but we do have our upgraded Locust Swarm, which I can't wait to see. So whenever I do my playthrough of the evil factions, we're going to have Richard Nixon and Candorous Ordo by our side. Anyway, that was pretty much it. Thank you all so very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the new uh, Crate to Hero. Um, the only feedback I would have from them is, yeah, put in, put back in Wizards. I don't care about balance. Just put them in! And uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to release a uh, footage of me playing as all the different factions, starting with Gondor. So, uh, yeah, let's see if King Elisar can uh, handle a Dane 4.0. I'm Reed Devil. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.